Hey, morning to you. Well, he's in here for the mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Yes. A church you can call home. Yes. Amen. Where we honor God, we love, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia nuevo comienzo. Amen. We want to welcome all our NBC family. Woo, hallelujah. All our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Yeah. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourself to receive. God has something for me. Don't exclude yourself. Include yeah. yourself. Amen. Be involved. Amen. Be a participator and not a spectator. If, if you come to spectate, change that attitude. Amen. We're going to be talking about attitude. Attitude is a little thing. It makes a big difference. Amen. Yeah. My attitude is this. Lord. I just bow myself before you and share with me what you want me to do. Amen. I want to be involved. I want to be a part of you. Amen. We're going to be talking about, as a matter of fact, we're going to be talking about blooming, bloom for Jesus. Amen. Bloom means mature for Jesus. Amen. We're born again believers, but you know what? We're not, we're not to stay babes the whole, all our lives. We're to grow in the things of God. Because I, as I've said, you know, as you climb that ladder, new levels, new devils. Amen. Right. So, and you know what? <laughs> the enemy is ready. Oh, yeah. We need to stay ready. Amen. We need to stay ready because, you know, part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. He That's is it. ready. You need to be keep yourself ready. Amen. The world want to distract you. Distractions come. He says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's yeah. going to use each and everything to try to put you down mm -hmm. and keep you down and keep you out. That's it. That's it. That's Amen. It. We got to be focused and stir ourselves up in the things of yeah. God. Amen. Nobody going to do it for you except yourself. Yeah. Just like you used to do it when you was out in the world, you know, getting all yourself all stirred up, you know, to go and show yourself. We got to do the same thing for Jesus. You know, I just told the church here. We're the closest thing to a Bible some people will be around. Yes. We're, they're not gonna they're not busting the doors to get in, in, in this place. Mm. Amen. They're gonna be out there where you shop, where 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 where, where you uh, uh go, amen, where you where wherever you happen to be, that's where they are. They're yeah. in the world, amen. But you're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see or hear. That means you have to say something, amen. Praise God, thank you, Lord. Woo, so we praise you so we see we're going to be talking about blooming for Jesus. Amen. We're going to, we got to grow in the things of God. Amen. We can't stay the same. We got to grow. We got to mature in the things of God. So, amen. I'm excited. Amen. You be excited. Amen. Grab your Bible. Grab your sword, soldier. God, let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. If nobody ever told you this, now you need to know the battle. There's a battlefield going on. Oh yeah. It's a spiritual battle. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't win in the flesh. You gotta get in, in the word of God and use the word of God. Amen. Well, you say, you know, God never talks to me. He's going to reach down to you and says, I talk to you every day. Yes. But you're not listening. Yes. And you're not reading and you're not opening. You know, the enemy is not afraid of this book. That's it. It's a book with words in it. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of the spoken word. Yes. He's afraid of how much of this word you got in you yes. and how much of this word is coming out That's of you. It. That's it. Amen. The rhema word. The yes. rainbow word, it's, it's got to come out of you. Yes. When you get it in you, it's going to come out. All I right. couldn't wait to learn all them bad words, you know, <laughs> when we was growing up. Man, but you know what? I learned them, and I had them in me, but there weren't no good until I mm -hmm. spoke them out. Man, I it felt so good about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know. You know how you feel. You were don't, don't, don't look so uh, <laughs> innocent. <laughs> Man, that made me grow up. You know, I say, man, I'm a, I'm a grown up now. You know, because I, can, I know a few bad words. Oh, yeah. But you know what? It wasn't just good to get them in you. It was good when you spoke them out. Mm -hmm. Man, no. I feel good. No. Well, you know what we need to do when we fight a spiritual battle, and the battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. But the Bible says we're three beings. We're spirit. We got to feed our spirit the word of God. And we have a soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions. 
And we got to renew our minds with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Guess where the battlefield is? Mm -hmm. The mind. Mm -hmm. You thinking things all the time. Great, crazy stuff. Good and bad. Yeah. Crazy yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, give up. Kill yourself. You know, do this, do that. You have to renew your mind to yes, what yes. the word of God says. Yes. What am I going to renew it with? The word. And renew it and find out what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. The world's been telling you this. People have been telling you this. Mm -hmm. But what does the word of God say? Yeah. And next time they tell you something, when you get the word in you, and next time they tell you something, you say, what scripture is that? Is that in the word of God? <laughs> oh, no, no. This is just something we're passing around. I ain't going to receive it. Don't yeah, receive yeah. any junk anymore. Don't live on junk food. Live on the word of God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And let the word of God guide you and provide for you. Yeah. And put a pep in your step and get stirred up for him. So that you can go out and be what he wants you to be. The world disqualifies you. The world says you're not good enough. You don't have an education. The Bible says, the Bible says he's already called you. And anointed you. Amen. You're qualified with him. We don't have to be qualified by the world on, if now. we're already qualified Amen. by him. Amen. 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 <laughs> but he God. wants you to go and set people free. Yes. Be kind to people. Yes. Let them know about Jesus. You yes. know what? I was going to hell. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was following the crowd. But no more. I don't have to follow the crowd. I follow with where Jesus wants me to go and what Jesus wants me to do. But you're only one person. That's okay. Me and Jesus, we're majority. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. See yourself that way. I've told you this many times. <laughs> we may be a small church, but we have a big God. It might be bigger than our God. Right. Amen. Amen. And you may be one person, but guess what? Nothing's bigger than you and God. Amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Yeah. And, you know, we got to get out of a mindset and traditions mm -hmm. and what people are saying and what people have said right. that you can't amount to anything you're no good your family got a history oh, uh, that's okay. and you got to follow that history and we know no. all about you no you don't mm -hmm. you're talking to the wrong person that's the amen. bible says st corinthians 5 7 says i'm a new creature, creature in christ right. excuse me 5 17. <laughs> i'm a new creature in christ the old is gone the new is in Amen. So you know what? If you want to talk to me, talk about the new things. Yes. The old stuff is gone. So yes. you know what? I gave it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He kept it. Mm -hmm. So it's his. You want yeah. to talk to somebody? Go talk to him. Amen. <laughs> I'm a new creature, a new person oh, in Christ. See yourself yes. the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what you qualify for? Some Jesus glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. You put your Jesus Woo. glasses every day Come before on, you go into the world. Put your Jesus glasses oh, on. Lord. What's your Jesus glasses all about? It's about the love and compassion on, of now. Christ. It yeah. coming out through you and yeah. showing through you. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will be around. That's, That's the love and compassion of Jesus showing through you. Amen. Right. Amen. So don't tell me I can't. That's what the world used to say. You can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, I can do all things all through Christ. Things. Amen. Yeah. So guess what? You're a new love creature for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Going somewhere to happen yeah. for yeah. somebody. Set somebody free. Glory. Share with somebody. Woo, I'm excited. Glory. Yes, I got a few nuggets before we get going. Man. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, even if you hurt these, you know, some people say uh, this. They said, uh, I read the Bible through, you know, I didn't get anything. Mm. Read it through, meditate on it, yes. grow, grow from it, amen. Yeah. You know what you're doing? You're sowing seed. We're yeah. talking about planting. Yeah. When, you, when you plant, you sow seed. Yes. And when you sow seed, God has already blessed all this, you know, and he, He's is spoken to those seeds to grow when they're sown. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens with words. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And when you plant those seeds, they grow. Yes. So you want to plant good seeds, not bad seeds. Amen. If you plant bad seeds, you're going to grow bad things yes. in you. Yeah. But you sow good things, good body. things, good yes. things are going to grow in you. Amen. A scripture break. Hey, it's time for our scripture break. Oh it says this, bloom. We're going to be talking about bloom. Or you can use another word that says mature. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. M mature. It says just just bloom as a flower in garden in God's garden of life. Mm -hmm. He's planted you in His garden of life, yeah. and He wants you to grow. If He's planted you, He wants you to grow, and He wants you to do something. It says don't compete. Don't compare and don't copy. It says, be original. God made you to be an original. Amen. Original is better than a copy. Yes. You're yes. not a copy for no for Jesus. Amen. I'm an imitator. The Bible says I'm an imitator of him. Yes. But you're not a copy. You're an original. God yes. made you an original. And so we want to be you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Encourage, help one another. Bloom. Where God wants, or God, where God plants you. Amen. We're going to have a lot of just bloom where you are planted. Mm -hmm. And you can write that down, 1 Corinthians 7, 17 through 24. If we don't go through these, you go find them yourself and take notes, you know. Because I want to mature. I want to grow in the things of God. Amen. But it says, bloom. Jose, bloom where you are planted. Amen. Amen. We're going to be talking about the native side in a few minutes. You know, well, this is not where I want to be. You know? <laughs> I don't want to be over there. You know, we'll get there in a few minutes. <laughs> be the original God made you to be. Encourage and help one another. You know what He says? He says to assemble ourselves together. Yes. Right. As a as a body of Christ, come together on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Or Bible studies Wednesdays or whenever the church opens, you know, yes. come. Let's be. Let's assemble ourselves together mm -hmm. and encourage one another. Yes. Help yes. one another. Yeah. Be yes. kind to one another. Yeah. You know why? Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, yeah, and destroy. That's it. And the world is going to try to put you down, kill you, and that's destroy you. Oh yeah. If you let them. If you let. Them. Amen. If you let them. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with none of that that's amen it, Woo, hallelujah i'm gonna bloom why because jesus says i know the plans i have for you yes jose declares the lord plans to for welfare and not for evil mm -hmm. to do welfare and not for evil to give you a future and yes. a hope he's yes. got great plans for us amen. none of them include defeat that's right. right unless you allow defeat mm -hmm. in your life but he didn't put you here to lose. He yeah, put yeah. you here to win. Yeah, yeah. But we got to get in the word of God and find yes. out what the word of God says. So that we can start pressing on with the yeah, things yeah. of God. You know, here's the thing. is, It's not about how big or how small. But about how involved you're going to be. Come on now. Amen. It be involved totally, you know. He compares the church with a physical body. Mm -hmm. This physical body has many is one body mm -hmm. but it has many, many parts. parts many parts and this body needs all these little parts oh yes little <laughs> fingers <laughs> whatever it may be mm -hmm. hair mm -hmm. whatever the part is mm -hmm. lord i'm going to do this the best i can for you mm -hmm. and when we give ourselves back to him and say lord i'm going to do my best for you mm -hmm. amen little or small big mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. i'm doing this under you guess what you're involved and you're in unity mm -hmm. to make this whole body function as one. Yes. Amen. Inside, if you're an inside part or an outside part, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're still working together in oh, unity. Yes. And that's the body of Christ. Okay. We're all many. He says, but we're working together. Together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise we God. try to separate ourselves by denominations. No. No. He didn't make. He didn't create denominations. He created one physical, one body, uh -huh. the body of Christ. Amen. Yes, That's yes. one of us. Yes, Amen. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, we're not our enemies. Yeah. Our only enemy he talks about is the devil. Yeah. The yeah. devil. He comes to steal, kill, and yes, destroy. Yes, yes. Amen. So, flesh and blood. That's not your enemy. No. It's the devil. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Well, let's get going here. Yeah, Keep going, going Carmen. Bloom where you're planted. <laughs> let's read this together. Say, God has placed Place you here for a purpose. purpose. Don't let anybody discourage you or the yeah. world discourage you yeah. by reading the wrong things. You know, you're reading the wrong thing. If it's not the word of God, you're reading the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And it's going to say, you know what? You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. You're not good. Mm -hmm. This is not you, mm -hmm. you know. God can't use you anymore because you've sinned. Mm -hmm. You've been locked no, up no, because no, you've been no. this, because Come you've been now. that. You say, wait a minute. He's already qualified you, Lord. Yes. 
I confess all my sins to you. I repent. And you know what he's going to say? Okay, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I forget. So it's like, get up and, and press on. He says, press on. That's it. Don't yes. hold back. You know, don't let don't be a prisoner of your past. That's it. It's gone. It's forgotten. Yes, it Amen. We need we need not to be prisoners of our, our past. That's it. Amen. You've been set free. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. He says, God has placed you here for a purpose. Whatever it might be, know he has chosen you for it. Mm. And labor faithfully bloom where you're planted. Yeah. Hey Amen. Bloom where you're planted. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I wanna be in San Antonio. <laughs> I wanna be in Dallas, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wanna be in Fort Worth. I came from Fort Worth to Marco. <laughs> You know, be where God wants you to be. Amen. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things all through things Christ who strengthens you. Yes. You know, if you're in the, if you're just in the flesh uh -huh. Uh -huh. and God don't have you there, you're gonna be miserable. I don't care how big a city you move to. That's it. You're gonna be miserable that's because it. that's not where God wants you. That's right. You're out of place. Out of place. Just think how a fish feels out of water. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is not for me. Mm. <laughs> you know. That's what the fish is. This is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Be content. And we're going to be talking about uh, Paul. Paul was content. Mm -hmm. You know what content means? He was happy where he was at. He was happy where no matter what. Listen, he was an educated man. I'm an educated man. I need to be in New York. I need to be in California. <laughs> I need to be in these big places, you know, because mm -hmm. that's where God wants to use me. Mm -hmm. No. He wants to use you wherever you happen to That's be. It. Little Omar. Amen. Little old Martha mm -hmm. is big enough. Amen. So, whew. hallelujah. I'm excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Hey, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell yourself. You got to stir yourself up. Yeah. Just like I said, you know, when he was going into the world, mm -hmm. you got to go show off, you know. <laughs> well, show off with Jesus. Amen. There's a lot of sad people out there. Yes, There's a lot yes. of mean people out there. Amen. It says bloom for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Bloom for Jesus. It says, do not worry about where others may be. Because mm -hmm. we're always, well, look where they're at. Mm -hmm. And you know, and they're always doing better than I'm always doing, mm -hmm. you know. And we're always comparing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about where others are. It says Amen. there's a specific plan for you. You are where you are for a reason. Mm -hmm. Focus on God's word. Be faithful and multiply. You know what happens when you're doing? You mm -hmm. multiply. Yes. Amen. You go share people. You go, go share with people about Jesus. Yes. And they learn. And they go and multiply. Mm -hmm. And they go and share with someone mm -hmm. else. It says, but it says, this is, if you don't get nothing else, get this. Mm. Bloom where God has planted you. Yeah. Wherever that happens to be. Mm -hmm. You know what? When you have Jesus in your life, it don't matter where you go. Because he's with me. And wherever I go, Paul says, I'm content. Mm -hmm. I am a well-educated man locked up all his life and wrote two-thirds of the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. <laughs> you need it. Thank you. That was a test you passed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying attention. <laughs> Bloom where Jesus has you. Bloom where you're planted. Uh -huh. Amen. It says mature, grow, be fruitful for him. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And here's something. Serve him wherever you happen to be. Amen. Serve him. It says Bloom where you're planted. It. it may not be where you like to be. Mm -hmm. It may not be where you want to be. Come on now. <laughs> you may not like the circumstances. Still, no, bloom. Keep going. That's it. Still, you want to bloom. Be happy. Bloom mm -hmm. where you are or where God has you planted. That's the right. right thing. <laughs> you might as well be happy. That's it. This is where God That's wants me. So I'm going to enjoy. Enjoy where God has me. Amen. The Bible says the joy the joy of the Lord is your strength. I'm going to be happy. You guys just got to notify your face. Yeah. Notify your mouth. And put a smile on your face. You know. Let your, let go of your frown. You know. Some of us have been had a frown for too long. You know. If you smile your face is going to break off. You know. 
smile for Jesus. And you know what? A, a, a smile attracts people more than a frown. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a frown. You go to a lot of these places, okay? I'm not going to get too deep in this, but you go to some of these places and okay. you see frowns. Oh, it's kind of like they don't wait there's, on there's people get out of here. without people skills. Yes. And they put a frown on their face mm -hmm. to say, hurry up and get out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you here. Mm -hmm. Go away. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They work. They got a job because we're paying for them to be there. Right. Yeah. But they got to know. They got to have people skills. Yeah. And let yes. people know and say, praise God. Did you find everything okay? Mm -hmm. Can I help you with something? Yeah. You know, this is much better than putting a frown and saying, Get out of my place. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not good for business. No, it's not. <laughs> you see this little flower growing in the little crack. <laughs> crack. And you know what? I do I do I do a lot of yard work and I see flowers growing in weird places. Yeah. But guess what? They've got a bloom on. Mm -hmm. They got flower on. Yeah. You know, they they they're, they're blooming for Jesus. Jesus, wherever that seed happens <laughs> to fall, it falls in that crack. And guess what? It grew there. We need to do the same thing. We need to bloom for Jesus wherever yes. He plants us. That's it. That's it. Amen. It ain't gonna stop Him from blooming. That's it. Because that's what He wants us to do. Right. So we're gonna bloom for Jesus wherever. Wherever. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. That's Go. good, Pastor. Woo. Thank you. Thank you. Keep going. Man, these are good, Carmen. It says grow where you're planted. I mean Jeremiah twenty nine four through seven. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're gonna grow if it's sown. It's gonna grow. And we need to sow the word. Because yes. when you sow the word, it's, it's going to grow. That's it. That's it. Let me read with someone. God says, be happy, bloom wherever you are. Mm -hmm. says, have the right attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> attitude, that's a big word. Yeah, okay. Attitude. Woo. It says, it's a it's a, it, it, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. Amen. i tell you what. Just a couple of people here. A prodigal son. <laughs> he didn't have the right attitude. First he wanted to, he told the dad, you know, give me what's mine, I'm, I'm out of here. He had a wrong attitude. And he took off. But guess what? Things caught up with him and he got into the world and the world took him. And the world had him until he said, he came to his senses and he says, you know what? I could do better at father's house. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. all of a sudden his attitude is getting better. Hell yeah. <laughs> He says, I can go to Father's house. And he returned. And you know what? Father never gave up on him. Because no, Father would go out every day and he'd look down the road yeah. and say, when is son coming home? Mm. That's what he's thinking. You know, I want my son back. Mm -hmm. Father wanted his people back. Mm -hmm. And he told the son, he said, son, you know what? I'm going to have to sacrifice you to get my people back. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had the right attitude about it and says, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> you can sacrifice me. <laughs> We don't want to give in to anything. No, I'm not going to go to that. Mm -mm. He could have stayed in heaven, man. We could have, we could have went straight to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Jesus said it's okay. Mm -hmm. And he came, the prodigal son, you know what? The prodigal son came back home. Yep. Yes, he Immediately he tried to disqualify himself. Yeah. And the father didn't even listen to what yes, he was saying. Yeah, you know, God father, I'm not, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to do this. You don't have to treat me this way. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be this. Mm -hmm. And the dad says, he told the servants, he says, go and get new sandals, go get new everything for him, you know, the put rain. a ring on the fingers yes. in his hand, yes. you know. Yes. Says, wow. rain, you know, aren't you glad? Yes. See yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way God sees you, mm -hmm. not the way people say you need to be. That's it. But you need to find out what the word of God says about you. Mm -hmm. And then be what the word says for no, you to be. Although, otherwise, otherwise, people are going to have you doing all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be serving people and not God. That's it. And you're going to be up and down just like a little yo-yo, you yeah. know. <laughs> or you're going to be spinning your wheels in yeah. little, like, yeah. like a little hamster, you know. No. I'm going to press on with him. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they say. God called me. Mm -hmm. He's called you. Yes. God anointed you. Yes. And he's got a place for you. Amen. And I'm going to press on and do what he wants me Amen. to do. Big or small. If I'm doing it under him, yes. he's going to bless me. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. <laughs> I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed going out. Yes. 
So have the right attitude. Prodigal son. How about Jonah? <laughs> Jonah had the wrong attitude. You know what? He found himself in the belly of the whale. Like the belly of the big yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden he, he comes to his senses and he gets the right attitude. He says, okay, Lord. <laughs> I'll do what you want me to do. I'll change my attitude. He changed the attitude. You know, great. Now he went and he went and did what he was told to do. Yes. Yes. Go to Nineveh and preach the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. So some of us, we need to get in the right attitude mm -hmm. and say, okay, Lord, whatever it is, wherever you find yourself, know mm -hmm. that you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Amen. Woo. What about little David? Mm -hmm. Amen. The good thing about David, man, he was a faithful shepherd boy. Yes, he mm -hmm. was. Amen. Listen. You be faithful in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. David didn't know, but the man of God came yes. and says, Jesse, the next king of Israel is coming from your family. Mm -hmm. It's one of your sons. He had eight sons. Woo, hallelujah, I love to have eight sons. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh brother. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. And seven of them went through, and seven of them passed in front of the man of God, and he says, nope, 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 nope. He says, do you have another one? I just happen to have one more. But he's just a little shepherd boy taking care of the sheep. He says, well, bring him. You know what? People say, you're no good. You're just a little shepherd boy. You're just a little nobody. Whatever it is that you do. But Jesus says, I called you. Yes. The little shepherd boy came and walked in front of the man of God. He says, that's the next king of Israel. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my God, guess what? He's called you to be. Mm -hmm. Whatever he's called you to be, you're it. That's it. Nobody can take your place. That's it. That's so it. quit hiding yourself. All right, now. Amen. On, man. You're the closest thing to a Bible. You're the closest thing to Jesus to be around. You know? So you need to come out. Yes. Says, you're, the, you're the man of God. Yes. God called you. I don't care what the world says. God has called you. You're Amen. Amen. That's it, man. So be free. You're not a prisoner of your past anymore. That's Let the past go. This is what happened to me. I was locked up. I was this. I was that. I was a drug addict. I was a, a drunkard. I was whatever. It doesn't matter. That's it. It's history. It's past. That's Let it go. People are going to remember. I don't have to remember. Right. I just let it go because I've given it to God. Amen. And he's yeah. forgotten about it and forgiven me. Now. now it's time to press on. Yes. New things. Yes. Amen. Yes. New things for Jesus. Yes. You know what? Now people are still mad and sad <laughs> because you're not doing what you used to do. Oh, God. And we can't hang out anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got new friends for me. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's got new things for me. Yes. No, he's got better things for you and better friends for you oh, and he's got a better plan for yes. you amen and you know what if you stay with him you can't go wrong amen all you got to do is you got to bloom where he wants you yes, yes. stay bloom and stay hot and stay stirred up for him yeah. Woo, hallelujah we yeah. haven't got our first place first place yet <laughs> it says oh, bad attitude is like a flat tire oh, guess what you i got a few cars mm. But if they all have flat tires, I can't go anywhere. That's it. One half, one last one. Amen. <laughs> so I gotta get it fixed. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We gotta fix our attitude before we go anywhere to happen. Amen. Because wherever you go, you're gonna happen for somebody. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be happening good for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna be good. Amen. And Praise you need God. to do the same thing. It says a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it, until you get it fixed. So have the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Don't allow yourself to be taken out of the right attitude. Amen. Here's the thing. People you see all the time, if you not spend time with them before you go into the world, mm -hmm. they're going to have you lunch quick. Mm -hmm. Don't give in to the storms of life, mm -hmm. but bring them into your peace. Yes. I've already yeah. made peace with him. Mm -hmm. And greater is he to send me than he to send the world. Yeah, and I'm going to step more. out into the enemy's territory. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. 
enemies coming, but guess what? I'm going to bring them into my peace. Yes. I'm not bringing them. I'm not letting them take me out of my uh, out of me That's or, or get, get into their storm. Right. I'm going to bring them into my peace. I'm going to yes. have victory over this situation. Amen. Amen. Don't let nobody stir you up the wrong way that way. That's it. Keep going. Mm -hmm. We got quite a few of these things I want you to, to read and, and, and see. It says whatever whatever you are, wherever. God wherever you are, God put to you there for a reason. Yes. Uh -huh. You know what? If you want a reason, go to him. Yeah. Ask him. <laughs> Don't go to so and so and right. ask him and says, you know, right. well this is why, you know, I think you're in the wrong place. You you know, and they're gonna give you all kind of negative things. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. If you want a reason, say, Lord, you got me here for a reason. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do my best for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the right attitude. Yeah. What's it say right there in big words? Bloom. Ooh. Bloom. It says bloom where you're planted. So you know what? If, if a seed is planted, you don't plant it and say, well, nothing's going to grow. If mm -hmm. you plant a seed, it's going to grow. It's gonna grow. See what Amen. It's going to grow. And I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. So I'm going to have faith each and every day as I step out into the world. I'm going to walk out in faith and not by sight. Because, you know, if you're moved by sight, you're going to be scared quick. Amen. I move by faith. Amen. I'm walking in Him. I've already made peace with Him. It says, wherever you are, God put you there for yes. a reason. Bloom right. where you're planted. I mean, are we getting this? We need to write this down. Yeah. <laughs> we need yeah. this on a daily basis. Amen. I'm going to bloom where God has me. Well, I'm just a little old marker. It doesn't matter. I'm going to bloom for Jesus wherever I happen to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. Keep going. I guarantee you, <laughs> that, little, that little plant that was growing in that little crack, had a beautiful flower. Yeah. It was doing the best Jesus right. created it to be. Yes. And it was blooming so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We need to be that way. And when yes. people see you, they'll say, man, why is it this about you? Why is this about you? And then you share with them because God has me here. Mm -hmm. Because God wants me here. Because I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. And God is blessing me. He never forgives me. He never forgets about me. Mm -hmm. He's always right. with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he can do the same for you. That's Share. It. They open the door. You're gonna come on, come on in, walk on in. You let him, let him know. Give him a double barrel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. God loves you. God yes. wants you. You can make a difference, and you can make yeah. a change in your life today. Yes. Yes. You don't have to put it off. You know who are you trying to please? The world. The world is never going to be pleased. Your That's friends it. are never going to be pleased. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told God, I said, Lord, help me with these enemies. <laughs> and I started losing friends. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I said, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. what I asked for. <laughs> I asked, take my enemies away. And I started losing friends. And says, yes. That's your problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. So guess what? We made a change. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. My friends changed. Now he's got the right friends for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll call you. Or they'll be there for you when you need them. Right. Amen. Yeah. Or they'll come and stop and say, you know what? You're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. This is the wrong thing. Is this what God wants you to do? Mm -hmm. Is this what God wants you to be? I don't think so. You know, <laughs> God told me. <laughs> mm -hmm. God said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. This is one of my favorite scriptures here. Yes. Colossians 3, 23, 24. King James. New King James says. And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive rewards of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. You yes. serve the Lord Christ. You know what? That's my Jesus glasses. I know y'all are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into the world. I spend time with him. I have my Jesus glasses on. And whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to represent him. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring Jesus to the world. Amen. Amen. I'm going to bring Jesus. Whatever you do, says you serve him. Mm -hmm. And when they see you, they'll say, 
they, they'll see and they, they'll know that the love and the compassion of Jesus is flowing through you. Amen. Amen. Wow. They can see the difference. They'll know if you have a bad attitude, but I'm going to have a bad attitude. Yeah. And I'm going to, re I'm representing him. Amen. I'm blooming for Jesus. Amen. And I have my Jesus glasses on and my love and my, and his compassion are showing. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, it, it's going to open the doors for them. Amen. To, to make a difference. I say, I want what you got. Amen. And you know what? We can share and they can have them. But, the love and compassion of Jesus, amen, flowing through us. New Living Translation yeah. says this. It says, work heartily at whatever you do as though you was working for the Lord, man, yeah. for people. I've said this many times, and I don't do it to get a pat on my back. I already got a pat. <laughs> on her back. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, when y'all are not here and I walk through those doors, there's nobody here. And I walk in and I says, you know what, Jesus, I'm 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 preparing this place for Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I need to straighten out some chairs. I need to sweep the floors. I need to mop the floors. I need to do this. I need to do that. You know, whatever it is, I'm doing this, Lord, is unto you. Mm -hmm. Because I know you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. I don't do it to impress people. I'm doing it because my God is going to be here. So, wherever I go into the world, I prepare myself. Because I'm representing him. Right. Amen. And this is what people are going to see. They see me. If they don't like what they see, that's too bad. I'm a child of God. You know? But you know what? They'll see. And if they're hungry, they'll know. It says something different about you. What is it about you? It's Jesus in me. It's Jesus in my life. That's the difference. Amen. 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 I'm living for him. Amen. Live for him. Amen. And not only that, Psalms 118.24, we know this. Blue for Jesus. It says, it says it like this. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. It says, we or I will rejoice. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You know what? This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to bloom for him. <laughs> I'm going to bloom for him. I have a choice. Oh, man, it's too sunny outside. It's too hot outside. It's too rainy outside. The weather's bad. Whatever. You know what? If you're walking in the flesh... It ain't never going to be just right. That's it. That's Amen. It. But you know what? When you've made up your mind, mm -hmm. <laughs> this our spiritual battle mm -hmm. that you're fighting, your flesh don't want to go. Your flesh don't want to do. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm going to crucify my flesh. Right. I'm going to feed my spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to renew my mind to yes. the things of God. And I say, you know what? It's perfect outside. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Jesus is with me. Amen. You know, I'm pressing on. He says, press on. Mm -hmm. Not only that, he says, I've given you a new day to serve me. Mm -hmm. I've given you a new day to bloom. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to do? I'm going to rejoice and be glad in you. Yes. Yes. And when you're rejoicing and being glad, guess what? It's going to show on your face. Mm -hmm. You're going to put a smile on your face and not a frown. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a new day. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Again, Proverbs 17.22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken dries, uh, a broken spirit dries up the bones. Yes. Mm -hmm. we got to have the right attitude about this. Mm -hmm. and we're going to bloom no matter what. Yeah. This is what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. we just got to be obedient to what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Nothing can stop you except yourself. You. Where you're trying to impress someone else. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it to impress somebody. I'm doing it to impress him. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says I can do all things through all Christ. Things. So yeah. I'm, pr I'm pressing on. Mm -hmm. I'm blooming. I'm blooming. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, here's another one. Matthew 6.33. We know all these. Matthew 6.33 says what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get in the right spirit. I'm going to bloom for Jesus. I'm going to seek him first. Mm -hmm. You know, when you seek him first, you're going to bloom. You can't stop but blooming. <laughs> <laughs> Again, 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, Walk by faith, not by sight. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Did you all see my little sign right here? Yeah. Yep. Huh? It says, no. No. where you are planted. Amen. Here's another one up here. If you don't see them yet, take pictures. Take notes. <laughs> It says bloom where you're planted. If you're not blooming, if you're not blooming, the problem is not with him. Right. <laughs> Come on now. The problem is here. Yes. We gotta fix this. Yes. You ever look in the mirror? Come on now. Man, I look so good. <laughs> but that's your biggest problem. <laughs> we gotta fix that problem. Uh -huh. Amen. We gotta fix this. Yes, Amen. And yes. when we get right with God, you yes. know, and we get in the things of God, mm -hmm. it's going to straighten out the rest of us. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. We're going to re feed our spirit, man, the Word of God, mm -hmm. renew our mind mm -hmm. from the mindsets it's crucify holding on to, flesh. the traditions, mm -hmm. and crucify that flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. The only thing I'm, only one I'm trying to impress is Him. Amen. 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 Yes. And He loves me already. Yes. You know what? He loves he knows everything about you and he knows the worst he knows the worst about you and still loves you more than anybody else he didn't he allowed himself to be sacrificed because he loved you so much so nobody can love you like more than he can that's it amen so it's not just a physical thing it is a spiritual thing yes amen and you can't overcome the spirit in the flesh you need the word of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you need the word of God to bloom wherever he has you. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not where he wants, if you're going to be anywhere, you're going to be sad if you're not in the spirit. That's right. That's Says Paul, a prisoner, mm -hmm. most of his life, well-educated man, but he was happy, he was pleased, he was satisfied, he was comfortable. And check this out. Mm -hmm. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was in prison, but prison was not in him. And he was doing the things of God. He was content. He was content. Amen. It says, wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Yes. And he bloomed for Jesus. Yes, he did. Amen. You know what? Hey, I'm well educated. I could go and be a professor at any university. Man, I've got a PhD. I've got the highest education man can have. But you know what? That's not what moves me. What moves me is being a man of God. Yes, amen. And blooming for Him. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Listen. He's our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. We're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. If nobody ever told you this, we're the body of Christ. We are the church. This building is not the church. Yes, we yes, are yes. the church. Yes, yes. And we go out yes. into all the world and yes, bring yes. the gospel. Thank you, and preach the gospel yes. to every creature out there. Amen. You're his representatives here mm -hmm. on earth. Reconciling people back to him. Amen. The and the Bible says you can do all things. Don't let the world and people hold you back. That's it. Press on with the things of God. Mm -hmm. We're not going to finish this, so That's we'll have okay. to <laughs> we'll have to finish uh, next week. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. But you know, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter twelve talks about the body of Christ mm -hmm. and about one body and about many parts. Yeah. Right. Amen. And he says these are good. Uh, verse uh, 12, uh, 12 28 1 Corinthians 12 20, uh, excuse me 1 Corinthians 12 18 says this it says but God has set or it says but now God has set or planted the members each one of them in the body just as he's pleased yes that includes you yeah he put every member where he pleased mm -hmm. every part in this body he put where he's pleased yes so if he's pleased, you be pleased. Yeah. Amen. You be pleased as well. And this is a great chapter, but you know what? The next chapter, 1 Corinthians mm. 13, oh is called gosh. the love okay. chapter. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. says the greatest one. Mm -hmm. It says the greatest one mm -hmm. is love. Yes. It says the love chapter. Love is the greatest gift. Amen. Amen. Love is the most important 
excellent way. Yes. Amen. So let's remember this. God has set or planted to you, gifted to you. Do your best to honor him and serve him. Amen. Amen. So we'll close with that. Amen. Okay, amen. God has set or planted you and gifted you. Do your best to honor him. How do I honor him? By serving him. Mm -hmm. Amen. By flowing his love and his compassion. Yeah. Keep going, Colonel. You see what else you got for me? Attitude. Yes. It's a little thing with a big difference. Mm -hmm. We need to write that. <laughs> Keep going. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bad attitudes like a bad tire. You can't go anywhere until you change yeah. it. You know, you know, <laughs> before you get to work, you know, before you have your first cup of coffee, <laughs> you know, before you meet them people, oh, God. but you got a bad attitude. So guess what? You got to fix this. Remember yeah. when you see yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. you're not happy about anything. Mm -hmm. You got to fix that. Mm -hmm. How can I be a child of God with a bad attitude? How can I meet God's people? with a bad attitude and you know what the thing about it is this mm -hmm. if you're not in the spirit you're going to be in the flesh mm -hmm. and you step out of that door and then folks is going to have you right away mm -hmm. and you lose amen so let's remember god has planted you and he's gifted you yeah. he's called you he's anointed you so let's honor and serve him amen so did you get something yes. it blessed me i hope it blessed you amen. <laughs> have a good attitude about it you know, just remember, every flower that ever bloomed had to go through a whole lot of dirt to get there. Hey Amen. You got to work your way through. You ever see, you ever planted a garden? You ever planted a seed? Man, it's got to break through. And all of a sudden, you see that dirt. It just starts coming up. Yeah. And the next thing you know is you see that seed, that flower, that plant come up. You know, and it just go right through. We have to go through a lot of dirt to get there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a lot of dirt to go through Come growing on. up and being what God wanted us to be. Yeah. God said, you know what? You didn't have to go through that, but you put yourself through that. And now you got me. So guess what? He wants you to bloom. Mm -hmm. hey. I went through all that dirt. And you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to bloom for oh, Jesus. Yeah. And you can do the same thing. Amen. Praise so God. praise God. Those of you watching, those of you listening. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You can be blooming for him right now yes. amen if you're not blooming for him you know why because you're still in sin all you need to do is, is say lord i've sinned against you i repent come my life be my lord and savior and you know what he's going to come in and yes, he's going to he be is. your lord and savior yes. and it's time for us to open up his word and get in his word yes and read his word so that we can get it in us, mature in it and meditate on it and grow from it amen yes. and go and be the the uh, the children of God that He wants us to be, mm -hmm. and to succeed and be yes. champions and be winners for Him, be overcomers for Him. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Him. All things. Amen. So praise God. Those of you that are needing healing in your bodies, I speak healing over you. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible yeah. says by Jesus Christ you are healed. healed. And you know what? Yeah. <laughs> This spirit of sickness, I command it to go in Jesus' name. He's not giving it me sickness. I don't receive the sickness. I command that to go in Jesus' name. I am free. I am healed. Amen. So I just speak healing over my body in Jesus' name. Amen. No malfunctions in my body. Everything functions the way he created it to function in Jesus' name. So body be healed, be well, and be delivered from this sickness in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father, for the time to give. Just go to our website. It should be on your screen there. It says <clears throat> NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, for Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. And you know what? Wherever you happen to be, bloom for Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God.